<laughs> and that, that race between Cindy Axney and Zach Nunn was close and stayed that way for hours. And now the Associated Press has called the race, and you can see why it took so long because it had been so close. But now that 100% of the results are in, look at the margin here. So when you look at percentages, you're talking 50 50. The difference is in the votes, 2,153. So that happened earlier in the day. The uncertainty was what Cindy Axney would do about this. Since the margin of error is, the margin between them is within 1% she could start the recount request process. She has decided not to do that. So about a half hour ago, she has conceded this race to Zach Nunn, meaning that Cindy Axney, after her historic election four years ago, be becoming one of the first women to ever get elected to the U.S. House. She is now out of office after four years. Zach Nunn will be entering. And if you look at overall at the night, a huge number and a huge night for the Republicans when it came to these House races. Mary Nett Miller-Meeks, the incumbent there, won by six over her Democratic challenger. In the second congressional district, Ashley Hinson, another Republican incumbent, she won by 8% over her challenger. And in the 4th District, where it's very heavily Republican, you can see how big the win was for Randy Feenster, won by 37% there. Now, one of the other races remains unclear at this point. Democrats had a bad night in a lot of ways in our state. This is their lone statewide hope. The state auditor's race, Rob Sand. We were watching these numbers tighten as the night went on. We're still waiting. You can see over there only 99% of the results in here, and the margin is 3,169. There are two counties they're still trying to work their way through. We'll get into that later on in the newscast. But because of that uncertainty, it's difficult, since it's so close 50-50, how this race would turn out. So that one still remains unclear. There are also at least three state legislative races that were so, so close. So we will have to see if a recount could be involved in any of those.